Hey guys, start this Shakira from Unilast.com and this is another UK UTL cast and we have got and we have got, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Walk Me Please versus Fears. And we're looking at Fears, who's Kyrgios' favourite colour, Protoss. Spawned in the bottom left, on Shakira's plateau. And on the top right, we've got Walk Me Please, who plays for Hull. Because obviously this is Hull versus... Swallow their style, though, so Hull versus... Uh, Thames Valley University. That's right. That's right. That's the beauty of having two monitors. I look across and I'm like, oh, and I'm looking at it. I've even highlighted it. But still, I cannot read it. My brain does not function. Maybe it's a problem. Maybe I should see a, a health professional. <laughs> a, a dedicated eye brain health professional. <laughs> eye brain collapse syndrome. I'm afraid, Mr. Styler, so it's grave news. We will have to take your eye and your brain and replace it. I d <laughs> where, where is this guy from? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I don't know. You don't sound <laughs> kosher to me, though. And uh, we'll replace it with a uh, keeper. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we've also got a sponsor as well. As as, as I'm sure you all know, because you'll have watched all the other casts like good. And there's a good massive load of gear all ladies. over the screen with his name all yeah. over it. <laughs> <laughs> it is total brisk, total brisket, brisket, brisket. Ain't that like pork scratchings or something? I don't know. Um, it's total biscuit Tell anyway. Me biscuit of the crumbly confectionery variety and cynicalbrit.com well not and they are the same thing so check out cynicalbrit.com check out total biscuits youtube channel love it that's right love it love every minute of it love it like it was your only child or you oh yeah love it actually don't parents love the children all the same or is that just a myth i don't know i haven't got that's any kids <laughs> it's a myth in it you take a favorite one it'd be like i tell you well actually after some discussion, Kirioff, um, he's, he's decided to name, name his firstborn Skyray Missile Defense Gunship. <laughs> you know it. Because that's he decided be it sounds hardcore. Yeah, that's going to be the name of my first son. It's Sky a unisex Ray name as well. He doesn't gunship. even have to be for a son, does it? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. You could easily give it to a girl because you could shorten it to Sky, which is a bit hippie ish, but at least it's, you know, <laughs> Sky. pronounceable. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got crossborns on Securus Plateau, which we always have crossborns because that's how the map rolls. Um, yeah, so I, I said I'd stop saying um, but I like saying it, so I'm just going to carry on. Um, 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 no, but in all seriousness, it is about getting better at casting. The more we do, the less um, and crap like that that will be going on. We've all, I've already got better at camera control. I don't let Kirioff control the camera. It'd be bad times. <laughs> I get I get distracted by shiny things. <laughs> you zooming in on the mushrooms on Zalnaga Caverns. It's like, yeah. what is this? Well, there's a massive battle going on. He's absolutely crazy. Like the walking animation. I'm zoomed in on that because look at it. Look at it. <laughs> He's a madman. He's an absolute madman. So the factory is about to be completed for warp. I'm not saying warp me, please, because it just sounds shite. Warp. Warp and my mouth would break as well. He's supply locked, but only for a bit there. Fears. And now he's not supply locked. Shockingly. Robo facility goes down. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we're setting up for a... Another a longish type game, which again I don't think we've actually seen any cheese in the UK UTL at all. Um, which it does get the heart racing, um, but I can understand that if I was in this position, I would not be. If it was a best of three series where the same player was playing, you know, where you had three chances, well, potentially two chances, you know, so you could cheese and then play a more solid macro game, then maybe yeah. But with it just being a You've only got one chance. I can kind of understand why everybody goes for more of a macro style game. Yeah, it's it's going for funky base placement by fears. It's built like a nice little circle. What oh, were you yeah. saying there, Mr. Kirioff? For our blabbed all over you. <laughs> I was just going to say you, you go for what you're comfortable with, don't you? You could you don't really want to dive in with like a crazy proxy barracks all in or something when you're not actually that comfortable with it. You're better to stick to what you know. And if you've got a macro, you sit back and build up your base. If you've got a micro, you get in there, not too early, but when you think you've got the advantage, throwing all your lads in, in like a mad attack, oh, yeah. five minutes into the game. You've got to play great. to your strengths, and the thing with this competition is as well, the players won't really know each other, it's almost just like a ladder match, a faceless ladder game. I mean, sure, some people will know the players, you know, they'll they'll know who, you know, maybe people, well, people know who Gomas is and the likes like that, and I think there's other, eventually you'll start seeing other top, or, well, not top well, yeah, they are top players in the UK scene showing up. 
I think there's a couple of Grandmasters players in the competition as well. And there's also yeah. like bronze players and whatever, but as uh, as was <laughs> evident in the Lao game. <laughs> what the hell? The infamous Lao game. That was that was unsporting, good sir. I've said yeah, it yeah. Well, said it what again. I was trying to get at anyway was like, you, you don't really know what your opponent does, so if you know you're good at rushing or whatever, then just do it. But I think with it being a competition, as I say, people tend to just hang back and sometimes you've got to be reckless. Oh dear, that raven's going to pick up that overseer. That observer. <laughs> overseer? What the? Good lord. The observer's been binned. It's been taken apart. Scrap That's metal. You ruined. <laughs> I, did, I wondered away. why we had a raven being built. I'm, I mean, I'm Maybe he just did it for the crack. Maybe he wants a bit of a, a bit of point defence drone later on. But yeah, well, they better get them like off it. early. We're getting them out early so they can build their energy. The point defence drone is absolutely insane against stalkers. Well, anything with projectiles like it just negate loads of the damage. So they are they are a nice unit. I do like them. Take a little bit of skill to use, and also you can do harassment in the mineral lines with the. Sentry turret drops. They are sentry turrets. Well, auto turrets, even sentry turret. It's like a mad construction between a Protoss sentry and an auto turret. Sentry turret. Good lord. Or maybe it's just from the film Aliens, like the SCV suit where that was robbed from. <laughs> I, I'm going mad. See, the thing is, we cast all these games together. They might not all come out on the channel at the same time, but yeah, it's crazy. I'm mad and crazy, and that's our role. We've got this a banshee the moving one in down. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we've got a banshee moving down. Oh. It's got no cloak, but. Oh dear, it's just been detected by an observer. <laughs> Which that's that's uh, going to end badly, isn't it? <laughs> well, it depends if um, Fears had the, his eye, or his two eyes. I don't know whether he actually is a cyclops or whatever. <laughs> he's had one of his eyes poked out in a disgraceful accident of... He fell over and onto a bamboo stick. Because <laughs> That's he, usually how it happens. Well, well, because he decided to plant bamboo in his garden because he thought it looks nice, but then he realised, he realised, you see, it doesn't really grow too well in this climate, so he went out in a rage and fell over and it went through his eye. Anyway, what the hell is this about? So we've got a marine running through the middle of the map, but we've got, more importantly, we have got a banshee that's coming in and uh, it's a bit slow to the party. Um, it's going to get killed. I don't really know what his game is. Yeah, Fears that's... is chasing it round with an observer just in case it cloaks, but he has spotted ye olde Stargate. So, so he's kind of maybe worth its weight in uh, mineral. <laughs> not going that way. It's not. Oh no. dear! It's collapsed all over the nexus. <laughs> First void rays out, and it's moving. It's on the move, son. On the move. Good luck. No, it's stopped the... by the back destructible rocks. Oh. Boo. 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 Twilight Council's on the way. We've got another banshee cranking out, and there's actually another one on the field. Cloak has not been researched yet, and he doesn't look like he plans on researching it. But he's still going for more banshees. Well, this is going to be his second Banshee out now. Is he going to build another one straight off the back of it? I don't know. He hasn't got the gas to anyway. He's Maybe he does now. Locked, so. But that's not going to last. No, no, no. And so, yeah, I mean, what, what more can we really say? We've just got players facing each other off again. We've got Zealot Legs coming in. We've got another Void Ray on the go. An Observer is going to make its way into the expansion of uh, Warp Me. And, uh, yeah, he knows well, he's got an doing? expansion. What are you doing? Though, uh, sorry, that the supply lock went on for way too long there. Yeah, and he, he, needs, he needs another supply depot as well. He's 86 yeah. out of 86 again. He called down extra supplies because he forgot he just didn't keep up with it. And now he's in the same position he was in before. Oh, dear me. Double engineering base going down. So, yeah, focusing more on the infantry maybe. But he does have a, an eclectic mix of units. Sir. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Loving I mean, there's the world Hellions, there's Marines, there's... Tanks, there's banshees, there's basically everything. We'll be seeing Thors and battleships and God knows what next. I hope, well, we've got an armory going well, down. Battle Do crews, battleships, what the hell? Hey, you want some? We've got an armory going down. Do you think we might see a Thor? Uh, it could just be for upgrades, but probably. He seems to build every unit there is in the game, so yeah. I'd love it if he did. I would absolutely love it if he Let's did. Let's check out the army value. It's kind of equal, the army value is. And uh, it, look, oh, it looks like Fears is uh, he's going out on a mission. A mission, son? Is it a mission from God? No, he's just stopped at the ramp. We do have you. What, what are these Marines and Marauders doing in the middle of the map? They're just going to get butchered. The main. Oh, they ignored a probe. So, again, no attack move. Come on, people. What is he oh, doing? Um, What's he doing with those? Um, what is going on here? Oh, Come on, oh, walk me. Oh. Uh, well, Fears, attack him. Oh, here we go. He can. This is not. Oh dear, he's trapped in a corner now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. oh, dearie me, lads. You're going to get butchered. Why? Why is the question? 
Why? Why do you why? if you're watching this war? What? Just leave us a message in the comments. Why? why? What the hell? That marine's laughing though, he's firing from the safety of his Al Oh dear, he's gonna have a problem. Charge the void rays, he's gonna attack him. Oh, 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 oh dear me. Dear me. Well, that was different. Two banshees are coming round the back from Wartley. Uh, you think it'd be Protoss with a name like that? That was a good chunk of units as well. That wasn't like a couple of spare lads you had lying around. That was a good number of boys just got riced. <laughs> Uncle Ben's insta rice delivered. <laughs> Two minutes and bam, it's done. Oh, Jesus. Two minutes to tasty. Tasty collapse. <laughs> so these banshees are going to come into the bat now. I don't think there's much here, but he can walk in units, supposed to deal with it. He's going to get quite a few kills, these two banshees are, but it looks like he doesn't even care. He's just going straight in. Um, maybe not the best move, straight into siege tanks. Mass stim goes in. Uh, I, I, I'm kind of really not feeling this. It is going to break through it, but... Yeah, but it's... Uh, this is it the price is it going to break through it, though? It's the pretty... Void rage? Oh, no, uh, I think the void rays are going to go down, aren't they? Yeah, I don't think he's even going to break through this. Oh, hang on. He's killed all of the marines. Yeah, so maybe just the simple lack of air is going to... I mean, because there are banshees of action. Oh, the banshees have been denied in the main as well. So, yeah, definitely fears he's just going to wipe out the expansion now. You know what I said I wanted a Thor? <laughs> There's your Thor. <laughs> There's your Thor, boss. Pure. He ain't going to do much, though. He's just going to collapse. No. Prepare oh, him, yeah. SCP. Prepare the SCP. Prepare him. Prepare him. Get in. Get in. Get in. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So, he's managed to save his expansion, which is funky. Uh, but definitely Fears is in the lead. He's been in the lead most of the game, really. Um, we're just looking for the killing blow. It was a bit, although his army is totally trash. But then again, so so is uh, so is Warps. So yeah, but Warps got the bigger army out now. What well, I'm calling the game, and I'm like, well, I'm a bit unsure. He has the economic lead by a mile, but he doesn't have the unit lead really. Fears. So maybe I mean he's massively oversaturated there at this natural expansion. Maybe, maybe we're going to see Warp just go down and kill him. That would be kind of surprising if that happened. They've both gone for interesting. I mean, for me, Warp's been on the back foot most of the game. Yeah, well, especially with the whole sort of I'm just going to send these lads off to die. To excuse me, moment. But yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit funky, isn't it? They don't seem to. Neither of them have got a plan, or have they got a plan? We just don't know what the plan is. Oh, I caught the scan again. Hey, Norse, Norse scan? No, no, not Norse. Nor, no, <laughs> nice scan of, <laughs> of warp. And uh, he's moving his lads into that sound like a watchtower. This is going to be a tasty little engagement. This is because the army value is like it's, it's in favour of warp, but it, well, it's miles in favour. The gas is crazy. He's bringing his SCBs as well. I'm loving it and all in. Oh my warp. god! Oh, I'm absolutely yes. loving it. That I'll tell you what, beautiful. this is beautiful, this is absolutely beautiful. The point of bench drone is he's negating loads of damage. This is, this, <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's turned this round, Fear, uh, Warp has. He's, he's just Good walking Lord. through, fears his army. Uh, uh, the world's his oyster it? now, the world is his oyster. <laughs> he's going to smash this expansion. He's landed the bar, he's getting a bit of, uh, bit of ground loving. action in. Absolutely loving this. Fears has got no production. Oh, he's got no work, he's out of here. Absolutely beautiful. So that was a crazy game from Group D, and it was the uh, Thames Valley University versus Hull, was it? Yeah, versus Hull, and I believe that win goes to Walk Me Please, who hails from Hull. So congrats to him. So check out unitloss.com, subscribe to the channel, and uh, Bob's your uncle.